So maybe you've just finished modding the Wii, or maybe you've just bought a modded Wii, and you're wondering how do you get the games to play. You put everything on your USB stick or your SSD, and you're wondering how you get into them. Well, hopefully if you've got it pre-done already, or if you've done it yourself, you've put USB loaded GX. My mom wants a GX mod, but there is a normal GX. Plus there's this one here as well, just the USB loaded, the standard one. But that comes in a WAD, which in a WAD file, uh, I'll show you in another video how to install WADs if people are really wanting it. Uh, but of course these are all WADs in here. Um, but if that's not on your front page here anywhere, of course you access it through your homebrew channel. Go into your homebrew. And you should have your USB loader GX in here if you've set everything up right. So we've got U loader, USB loader GX. Don't worry about these other ones I've got in here. Of course you have this one here, that's an important one. USB loader GX, see? Right. So that's how you can access it that way. Now the other way of course, as I say, if you've got it on a word, you put it at the front page, which is the easiest way to go. Go straight in. Of course, either way you go in, it's going to then load your things up. If you're not getting it loading here, make sure that your USB stick is plugged into the one closest to the edge of the console you the right usb slot uh, you'll see here with games coming up now for some of you you might come in here and you go right i've done everything right but you come in and all your games aren't here yeah it'll look something like this okay so let's say you've come into your uh your loader gx well, of course it's the mod one so you've got the other options here GameCube games in ring as well. But, okay, let's say you went into here and they weren't here. All you do is get into that one there. Oh, double square, click that. This menu comes up and you click your Wii games. If you do want GameCube games on the same menu on the Wii list, because uh, you'll want that if, if you've got your GameCube games and you're not on the um, Loader GX mod, you're just on the Loader GX, you want to click that as well. Click OK, and then all these ones, you're going to have a mixture, GameCube games, plus your Wii games. Of course, GameCube games, you can play off a PS3 controller or your GameCube controller. PS3 controller, you plug into the second USB slot. Alright, but because this is the USB loader GX, we don't actually need to click that one there. For here, we can just go for the Wii games and that menu, and up here, go to GameCube. So, you've got two separate menus. So, it's how to get your games to show up if they're not showing up. remember this one here now of course depending on which cover files have been downloaded if you go into one of these ones here at the bottom uh, you got your fan set up you might find some of the covers aren't there they just might not have been downloaded for that particular setup okay. And to move that right to the left, of course, you're pressing plus or minus on your uh, Wii remote. Minus or plus to spin around and go through it all. Okay. But to be able to get a better picture of what you have, I find the, uh, this one here is the, well, this one here is the better one. Easier to find all your games on one. Okay, uh, hope it helps. Now the other thing is, if you find games, you go into a game that's not working. Most of the time when you go into a game, the one thing you'll have to change, you'll go into video mode, change it to disk default, 
come down to aspect ratio and make that system default if that doesn't work on the game come back out come back into it and change it to 4.3 still doesn't work change that back to system default and put this one at system default also uh, there's the occasional one for NTC but if you want to avoid all those problems I'll show you a quick workaround Go back to global and I'll show you why we're going to leave it as global. So, the better way to do it is actually go here. This is your global settings, okay? So, those other ones are in each game. This one is global settings for all games if they're on. Use global, okay? So, we want loader settings. You'll see here I've already made it this default and aspect ratios, make that system default. If you do these settings, you're going to have no problems with like 90% of the games, plus all your Call of Duty games are going to work. And you'll see here the IOFs 249, 249, set this up all exactly the same. But with also setting this up exactly the same, you're also going to watch the next part, which is how to install your D2X Custom. Uh, in a way that will make it so this will so all your Call of Duty's and all your games will work easily without you having to make separate settings for each game. So just keep on watching this video and you'll get the next tip. So if you are having troubles with all the games and there's a couple of tips I told you not working, do this next part of the video. Uh, on the D2X uh, custom, you're changing settings, you must make sure that the Wii's on the internet first though and not in this setting. Go out of here, back to the Wii main menu, yeah, and then from the Wii main menu, you go on the internet. Make sure you connect to the internet, then go into your D2X custom and follow this next part of the video.